Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to show how to use StatCrunch to compute various measures such as the mean, the median, and the mode. So we are given a problem here and we're given a list of numbers. Now you can certainly go and type these into a calculator or type them into Excel, but I recommend clicking on the little rectangle here, which is the icon for opening the data in either StatCrunch or Excel. And I'm going to demonstrate StatCrunch. Once you've opened the data in StatCrunch, you can actually move this around so that you can go back and read what the question is asking. So the first thing we're asked to do is, is to find the mean duration. So the duration values are listed here and I'm going to go to stat, summary stats, and my data is presented in columns. I will select the column and click compute. So what I found is that the mean is 48.5. Notice that the question asks us to round to one decimal place. And that's very important because you could have the right answer here, but if you only type it as 48 or you were to round to 49, you would get this wrong because my stat lab wants the level of precision to one decimal place. So I will do uh, 48.5. And then I'll come down here and click on check answer. Now, suppose I wasn't sure how to solve the problem. Down at the bottom here, there are some excellent tools. In the get more help area, you can ask your instructor. You can also open up a video and the video will walk through a similar type of problem. I also really like the view an example, which would walk you through how to do all the calculations and what the various items mean. You can also click on help me solve this and that will prompt you through step by step. And that's like a, an automated tutor. So it really can provide you in the moment help for these problems. Okay, so now we're going to go on. Does the mean represent the center? Yes, it does. It's a measure of central tendency. Now they want to know what is the median. So if I go back to StatCrunch, the median here is given as 44. And you could go through and cross off the highest value and the lowest value and so forth and figure that out by hand. But again, for large data sets, we definitely want to use technology. And again, the median is a measure of central tendency. Lastly, the mode is the most commonly occurring number. And that's not given here by StatCrunch, but I can certainly... So lastly, we want to know what is the mode. The mode is the most commonly occurring number. And in this case, I look through, I see there's 35. That appeared twice, but also the number 12 appeared twice. So this is a bimodal uh, data set. I've got two modes, so I'm going to list them here. And it says separate them by commas. So I will say 12 and 35. 